New at 6 tonight, new information about the Henrico Elementary students who say another child stuck them with a syringe at school. CBS 6's Shelby Brown spoke to parents, police, and school leaders. She tells us what they know about this incident so far. Shelby? Well, Candace and Bill, the Henrico County Public School System told us that they immediately notified the parents of those students who were directly involved. But of course, there are still so many questions. Uh, how did the student get the syringe? Did uh, that student understand the gravity of the situation? Now, those parents repeatedly asked those questions today when we spoke with them at Laburnum Elementary. Some of them say once they learned about the incident, they were blown away. Parents at Laburnum Elementary School are still buzzing about an investigation that the Henrico school system is conducting. Six different second graders reported being stuck with an instrument like this small needle called a tuberculin syringe. This woman who opted not to show her face says her niece attends Laburnum Elementary and on Tuesday she got the call that her niece had been stuck by the syringe. When you think about the fact that needles the scary thing about needles because of the uh, precautions and stuff that need to be taken around that uh, type of uh, instrument and the fact that like diseases and stuff can be spread it from that one needle. This mom also declined to show her face but said while her child was not involved, she still has concerns and questions. Where did needles come from in the first place? How was he able to get them in, you know, to school and be poking other kids students with them? School spokesperson Andy Jinks did not elaborate on where the second grader got the syringe, but says the syringe was not used. But health experts tell us if several students were pricked by the same needle, there would be cause for concern. Jinks says no adult witnessed whether or not the needle pricked the skin or if the syringe still had the cap on it. But out of an abundance of caution, they encouraged parents to get their children checked out by their doctors. This aunt says she's glad the school nursing staff examined the second graders, but says they wasted no time getting the girl to her own doctor. I didn't believe it just looked like a little prick mark like, that was right there on her arm. So um, pretty much like, I mean, they checked everything out. It looks pretty good. And I'm just glad that, you know, everything came back to where she's OK. Now that school spokesperson Andy Jinks tells us there were no visible marks on the students when they were examined by the school nursing staff. As for Henrico police, they tell us they did uh, complete an incident report when they got one phone call from a parent who was very concerned. They say now the investigation is in the hands of the Henrico County Public School System. Working for you tonight in Eastern Henrico, Shelby Brown, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Shelby.